Okay, I am keeping my promises to you. I'm going to take you out with me to feed the cows. But first, I'm going to show you our stockings and our tree that Thomas found lying in the road. Roadkill. He saved it. He's a mechanic for a logging company, and it was just the top that was chopped off. Our cowboy hat collection. The angel to the right is one that I made, I think, last year. That was our only top. Let me see if I can zoom in on one-handed. Beautiful art that I did. And then that one, I think we found her at the Wigged Wheel. Probably was a buck. Same with the star. I think that was probably at the building project. You might hear me referring to that. Lots of blessings from that. And our stockings. And my romantic husband. So sweet. What a super nice, so loving guy. Made a bow with a bullet. Okay, let's go outside to where the kids are and feed the cows before it gets too dark outside. <clears throat> this is reality. Hi, bud. You throw the trash away? Yeah. Okay, good. Home hand. Let's go find the tractor. And then we'll go feed the cows. It's been, these water jugs are how we water our bunnies. In case anyone's wondering. Beautiful white car project. I'll try to speed over to not get the name tag on the truck just in case so this is our future project truck if i could be a better support encourager for wild dreams of men i'm gonna work on that tire pile beautiful new dream car and that was my first car that i had <clears throat> when thomas and i first met he came with me to say that was a good one and i've been driving it ever since we just took it off insurance last month to get the other our bees we talked about those at the end of a breakfast one that got cut short we have two other hives that are behind the plum tree over there and apparently kitties tip good boy kitties are riding to feed cows you need help on okay but i'm gonna bust open the hay bales so <clears throat> they might fall apart as you're sitting on them if I can find the knife. Anybody? Anybody? There it is. <clears throat> Want to pick it up? Hand it to me. Tip. Don't, don't kiss Samuel. Okay. So remember like we do guys. <clears throat> Just throw it out. This is Mac. Son of Mr. Cat Marshmallow that just passed away last month. It was super sad for us. He was probably the first, well, not the first pet, but almost that Thomas and I got together. Um, cut this open. Drive our tractor. Okay. And then don't let the twine go with. So here's our water trough. Metal has holes. We brought a pool liner for the inside. Our field. They have been eating. <clears throat> grass for all summer and fall. Thank the Lord for all the good weather and just the last few weeks we've been feeding out because <clears throat> there's no grass, or at least not enough. So here's our beautiful tractor blessing from my grandparents gave it to us. A lot of things people give us in our lives. We are so blessed. Ugh. This is kind of hard one-handed. <clears throat> I debated on getting the cheaper camera from the laundry room out here. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you guys how this all works, but I'm not sure how to turn the volume for you guys. So this is choke. Put that back in so it can choke down. And I'm pushing on the brake, and that's the brake is supposed to go down. Uh, shifter, neutral, clutch. I don't think it's like a car where you have to have it down but I generally hold and key backwards. There's a light that's heating and a glow heater. Not that this is super entertaining, but of course we have our cats playing. And we are red, so we're gonna start. And Thomas put a um, put the welding bottle
down from the gate latch. <coughs> Actually, we say feeding cows, but there's only, oops, let me hold the camera with my chin. <coughs> Three, there's two heifers and one's a bull. And then four horses down in the pasture, which we have. Oh, you might want to shoot the clutch. Oh, and the goat. Punch out. Not handfuls, big flakes, the big piles. we made um, normally wait not the twine bud we would feed alfalfa too but for the past couple of loads we haven't put alfalfa on it just grass because 
Hey, hey, no, that's too wild. Just climbed it one out. <coughs> oh, that's tied on the trailer, that's Tip's leash. <coughs> when we're trying to train him, <coughs> but we don't want to kick any knives off. Okay. So, since I live in the country and wide open spaces, you'll often hear me talk in a loud, harsh voice. <laughs> and uh, it's not that I'm angry. I'm just needing to be loud to get my voice heard. That's what country life is sometimes. I'm not sure what we're seeing, but you're watching me put twine in our twine bag. Okay, guys, you're doing great. And that last heifer came back here. Good girl. And everybody's happy. They generally don't go out the gate when we're gone. Break right down. Gear. Throttle. Whoa. Go. 